Welcome back to another episode of IoT with Smartphones, or if you will, Humilosity Hacks. In this episode, we will simply show you how you can remote control a robotic arm with your smartphones and Humilosity IoT. Don't worry if you don't have a robotic arm right now, that's what this demonstration is for. As we have learned in the past episodes, sensors in smartphones give us a lot of information which we can use for different things. If you haven't seen these episodes, go watch them first and get an idea of what you can do with smartphones in an IoT world. This time we will focus on the movement of the smartphone when it's in your hand and its function as a remote control. Our goal is to move the phone and then have the robotic arm mirror the movement so that the phone works as a remote control. What is interesting now is that the smartphone acts like a remote control, but it's not sending a command to the robotic arm itself. We take a smartphone as an input device and use the powerful and easy to use analytics tool in Cumulosity IoT to translate the movement of the phone into an executable command for the robotic arm. After adding the smartphone and the robotic arm in Cumulosity IoT, we build some logic with the analytics builder. These logic blocks take the raw sensor data that they receive from the phone and translate them into movement commands. The benefits of having an IoT cloud as a translator between the raw data of the phone and the control data of the robotic arm is that connecting the two devices together is fairly easy and we can use all the data for analytics purposes. We can also integrate other software into our IoT platform, such as Aparma, and do even more with all the data. Now let's get back to our example with remote controlling our robotic arm. This process can be summed up in three steps. First, your smartphone is moved by you and sends the raw sensor data to the Cumulosity IoT cloud. Second, in Cumulosity IoT, the data is translated and processed by multiple logic blocks and generates actions for the robotic arm. Third, the robotic arm runs these actions. In this process, Cumulosity IoT, in combination with other software like Aparma, acts like the smart central hub, that is, processing data from rather stupid devices such as our phone and robotic arm that just send and receive data. We hope you now have an idea what you can do with IoT and what the benefits of using an IoT platform like Humilosity IoT are. This is the end of our IoT with Smartphones video series. IoT is just starting out and you might guess these videos explain just the basics of IoT. But what you've seen now in all of our episodes is used in a lot of companies but in a much larger scale and much more often than you would imagine. Subscribe to the IoT Education Package for more in-depth look and hands-on experience. See the link in the description. Please comment, like and subscribe. Also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and definitely check out our other videos. See you soon. <laughs>